we can't cook. Better get you some. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Hello, hello, welcome back. Welcome to my kumara and potatoes in peanut coconut sauce. Okay, kumara we call sweet potato. So first of all, we need one 800 gram, so one large or two medium sweet potatoes. So you can see in my hands, it's it's short one, and I weighed it and it's 800 grams. So we need one of them first. We need to peel it. All right, once we peeled it, I'll just chop the end bits off. It's just easier. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to cut it into roughly uh, like three centimeter pieces. I want to recall that. To that sort of size pieces. All right, cut them into there and just chuck them in a bowl and set them aside for a minute. Once they're done, set them aside. Now the next thing we need is 500 grams, half a kilo of baby white potatoes. I don't know if you can see that from here, I'll just get the Aussie ones. So 500 grams of them, they're this small, okay? And 500 grams usually always works out to 12 of them. So what we want to do is we want to give them a good wash in some cold water, and then we want to cut them all in halves and just stick them in another bowl so they're ready to go. Now we want two medium brown onions. We want to peel them and slice them up and set them aside. Oh my god, mate, those onions are so strong, I can't see a thing. Alright, so once they're done, the next thing we're going to need is some red lentils. Now these ones here, I grabbed from the IGA supermarket. So you just go down into the baking section where you see all your split peas um, and your barley and that all for your uh, soups. So we want the dry red lentils. And we want to measure out three quarters of a cup and sit that aside. Now we're going to need garlic and ginger, either fresh crushed garlic and fresh grated ginger, or both in the jars. Alrighty, how exciting. This is so yummy, folks. All right, I'm going to write the ingredients down below for you to make it easier for you, and I'll try and do it in order. Okay, so now we're going to need some chicken stock, some coconut milk. So grab a can of coconut milk. We're going to need some normal soy sauce. We need dry coriander leaves, some ground chili, some cumin, some curry powder, and some fresh coriander. And we want to chop one tablespoon of fresh coriander up. All right, so now we get it all lined up, ready to go. So you do it in the exact order that it's written on the recipe. It'll make it heaps easy for you. So we've got our onions, then we get the garlic, then ginger, then chili, then curry powder, then cumin and coriander. Get them all lined up with a teaspoon, tablespoon measurement. Behind that, get your soy sauce. Now for the peanut butter, the smooth peanut butter, we have half a cup. So have that ready to go with a spoon in it, ready to get it out. Uh, we need two and a half cups of the chicken stock, so make sure you've got your cup measurement ready to go. Now with the coconut milk, make sure you shake the absolute shit out of the can before you open it, alright? Otherwise you're going to get this weird ass looking clear stuff on top and it's not going to be good. Um, I can't remember, one cup of that we're going to need. So have that out ready to go and you've got the cup measurement still. Have your white potatoes ready to go, your sweet potatoes ready to go, and your lentils, okay? Now, we need to get out a big frying pan uh, with a lid. Alrighty, once we've got our pan heated up, I've got mine on halfway. Just a little bit of oil, whatever oil you can get your hands on. I love using olive oil, I use it for everything. Kids get a scratch, here, put olive oil on. <laughs> okay, the first thing we want to put in is our onions. Now you want to put two cloves of fresh garlic in there crushed or two heaped teaspoons of the jar garlic. You want to put one teaspoon of grated ginger or one level teaspoon of the jar ginger. Now if you want to use chilli powder you put half a teaspoon in now but I want my granddaughter to eat this so I'm going to leave the chilli powder out. 
Then you want to put one tablespoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of dried coriander leaves. Now we want to give that a good mix up for a couple of minutes until the onions see through and the house smells amazing. Oh my god mate, it smells amazing in here. Oh. <laughs> so just make sure you keep scraping and churning it while you do that. Alright, you don't want it burning. Oh, yum. Okay, now to that I'll swap it around a bit so we don't burn that. The next thing we're going to do is put in two and a half cups of chicken stock. We want to add one tablespoon of soy sauce, our half a cup of peanut butter. So I don't know what happened then. I opened up the can of coconut milk and it was just one hard solid bit on the top. Um, and I broke through it and all the liquid was underneath. So I've had to break it all up in the can and just give it a really good mix through. Now we put one cup of the coconut milk in there as well and we give it a very good mix through. Once we've mixed that through, oh man, I'm in heaven. All right, we get out our baby potatoes and we put them in there. Give it a good mix through. Now we won't only want it on a very light simmer and we want to whack the lid on for five minutes. All right, five minutes later, we want to add our lentils. And, excuse me, our cumra or sweet potato. Give that a really good mix through. Now we want to put the lid on and we want to simmer it for around 20 minutes, but we want to stir it every couple of minutes, all right? It's really important. Basically, once the potatoes are all cooked, she's ready to go, but you have to keep stirring it. It's really, really important. Did I mention it's important? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh, this lighting is going to do no justice to this. Just imagine a beautiful dark satay. That's the colour of this. Alright, I had to turn it off because it kept steaming up the camera. So after, it took 25 minutes in my electric fry pan. And I had to put one extra cup of chicken stock in at exactly the 10 minute mark. Now, if you want this just as a side dish, you can thicken it up more and have it as a side dish. If you've got a lot of mouths to feed, you can stick it on rice, and it's absolutely beautiful that way too. Or you can do what we do, and we just munch on it on its own. It is just so good. So what I've got done now is I'm going to turn it back on for a minute or so, and just get that a little bit thicker, and then I'm ready to rock and roll. So what I wanted to say is the most important thing is you have to stir it, or use one of these and scrape the bottom constantly every three minutes or so. Because we've got the lentils in there, the lentils will stick to the bottom and we just don't want that. We want them all through there and beautiful. Oh, the smell in this joint is freaking amazing. So if you want to have it on rice, you probably leave it like that so there's a lot of juice that will go through the rice. Um, yeah, or you can have it thicker. It's totally up to you. I'm probably going to leave it like that because it seems to be pretty thick anyway. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Last thing left to do is plate up. Into the bowl she goes. <laughs> I reckon this would serve for, if you just had it for on its own, it'd serve for easy. If you did it with rice now, you could probably put push six to eight. Get some of that coriander. Fresh, beautiful coriander. Or as little as much as you like. Bang that baby on. And just like that, you lovely people, you. We've made potatoes sing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome night. I will see you really soon. Bye.